The Sticky Trifle Podcast. Welcome to the Sticky Trifle Podcast. Well, we are getting the news. Aberdeen is currently under lockdown again. And let's just hope it's not going to spread up to this area for we once again getting in lockdown. I don't think we'll, we won't be able to handle it, eh? However, our guest today has chosen one of our favourite uh, places to go for a coffee. And no, it's near the Hawthorne Bar in Aberdeen. It's Mrs. Maitlands. I can actually also add that uh, my guest, I have never actually met this person. Uh, so it's a, I, I guess you could compare it to a blind date when you know actually met somebody and you're want to meet them. But uh, anyway, we're, we're actually want to meet for the first time and let's see what she's got to say. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching this film, but I've got a podcast today. Is that sticky tri- sticky trifle? No, it's sticky toffee. Sticky toffee, sorry. Sticky trifle. Sticky trifle podcast. Uh, welcome. To- Sticky Trifle Podcast, and my guest today is Doreen Mayer. Uh, now, I do not care a lot about you. So, the only reason I care about you, to start with, every time I'm on Facebook, and I'm sure some of you will have noticed that, there's a community page. Is it Community Heart or something? Or something like there's, that? there's a few community pages, there's different things that turn to There's Facebook Community Heart, and there's... Um, Brokers and proud, there's brokers and like to moan about it apparently. Aye, oh, so there's a lot of people lot like of... to bring up different things. Yes. Right, bef- is. before we get started, we might as well introduce. So it's Doreen Mayer. Yes. Right, now, do you stay in Fraserburgh? Yes. Have you always stayed in Fraserburgh? Uh, but for a while when I was working for uh, an oil company, more or less, yes. And so we've stayed in Fraserburgh. Does that make you a proper? Brocha, as they say. I was born in the Broch. You was bo- brought up it right first time. Brought up, okay. yes. Family so come. You've never brought. left. You've never cheated us. I, I, I used to go out and work up and then come back again. But there's nothing wrong with that. Eh? Money, money pays the bills. Mm-hmm. Now uh, speaking about origins, so what about your family? Have you any brothers or sisters still around? Or? I have two sisters. One uh, bides doing in doing uh, foot all the way, which is just a side Burns Cottage. Right. Okay. And my other sister bides in the Broch. And what about family as in yourself? I Kids. have one girl. One girl. One girl. Um, she's due to get married next year, but she's deserted my she bides in Peterhead. Oh. That's no good for a broker. Uh, another person left. Right, so uh, now moving on here, uh, because she's going to be getting married, mm-hmm. she's obviously moving on with her own life. Mm-hmm. It leaves you with your, your iPod or your phone. Mm-hmm. You're going far, you're going, right, you're going to work. Okay. So have you any entertain as in pets? No. No pets? Well, I've got a, I've got a wash half, so maybe it's... So your, your husband keeps, is it a husband? No, no it's a partner. Partner, right, sorry, right. that's all right, that's fine. I've plenty of it and I've 
I'm a captain in the Girls Brigade, so I do that. For how long? Uh, 26 years. Wow, so that's, that's a long time to be involved with the Girls Brigade, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not something you take lightly either. I, I presume there's a lot of work goes into keeping it going aye, every week. A lot of work goes on Friday nights, every Friday night. W was you a, a, a Girls Brigade member back in your younger days? Yes. So that was part of the reason it led on to that, was it? Uh, I didn't, I, I kind of got away off it for a while and then Gladys Mackay, a few folk maybe mining Gladys and Ian Mackay, Boys Brigade and Girls Brigade, she was retiring and she was a captain when I was there. In mm -hmm. fact she became a captain the year before I was born and she'd been a captain for 30 year, 30 something year. And she came, well the minister at the time came and asked me if I wanted to be the captain so I said, ooh, are you sure about it? Are you sure? I'm the kind of person you want to be the captain, but I've done it ever since. Wow, so, um, what is it about? Is it, do you like, uh, is it getting the younger ends involved? Is that what it's about for well, you? Well, I, I didn't have any family at the time, and I was doing voluntary work in various things. I had to give up my work because I had uh, problems with my neck, and my work involved a lot of computer work, and yep. so I'd so I had to get my work, so I'm near for good at sitting around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So I was volunteering at St Haven School, um, and then I thought, well, I could do that. Mm -hmm. So I started doing the Girls Brigade. And so you, who, who long are you going to do that? You're just going to continue until it's time to settle? And well, just well, you've got to retire when you're 65, so I'm not telling you who I am. What's the ask her age? What's the <laughs> ask her age? So, it, and it's rude only what you ask folks ages, is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> but I presume you're 50. Aye, aye, aye. Plus. Half an hour. Aye. Uh, so, really good, it's a great commitment to be doing that. And a younger range coming up. One day they might be like you, they buy there so long, and someday all our water retire goes, oh, actually, do you fancy? And that's how it happens again. There's, a, there's one little lassie, Faz, she's about nine just now, and her mum came in one Friday night and she says, Doreen, Jessica has just told me she wants to be you when she grows up. And I said, why? And she says, well, she wants to teach swimming and she wants to be the captain of the girls' brigade. And I said, oh, well, wow. it's just tell her to hurry up and grow up so I can <laughs> retire. <laughs> now, I want to move on to your career. Let's start from you left school. Was it was it Frozenbrack Academy? Aye, it was at Frozenbrack Academy and then uh, Buck and Tate because it was in. Now, now, obviously I don't care on you, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming you look like you'd be well behaved. I don't think you're a rebel. Oh, uh, I probably was a bit of a rebel when I was younger. See, that's the thing, you didn't look at You didn't look at <laughs> Doreen. You look well behaved. You look like you would read a book. You'd I did read, read a lot of books. See, that's the first assumption I got right. <laughs> and I presume you, this is the other assumption, I presume you might be a keen gardener. I am. I quite like my garden. Two in a row. Should I go for a third day? Okay, let's go for a third day. Okay. If I get a soon right, I may be. I should be part of the community or something if I get a soon right. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, thirdly, I th I believe that you might uh, enjoy music. Love music. Spent, Love songs. Spent Friday night listening to Dire Straits um, oh. affirmation. It no, affirmation. Oh, I can't mind what the concert was, but it was on the TV on Friday night, so the sound bar went on. It went full blast. The was well rock and was so is, it, is it rock music you like? You, I, I was about to say, I thought you'd maybe be a Celine Dion kind of person. Oh, no, no, really. No, no, she's not love songs then. Or not type. Well, not type. Um, I like got him for Jean Michel Jarre to Neil Diamond. There you are. Hmm. And if you want any favourite groups? Uh, Dare Street, Fleetwood Mac, The Eagles. Um, this is very soft rock oriented. Mm hmm. Like us. There are, there are pretty big artists you're naming here. Aye. They've all had big albums in back in the day. And been to success. see them all. Every one of them. What's so, gigs has been a part of your hobbies and interests mm -hmm. in the past, you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I like, I, I like, I like all kinds of music. I like some new stuff. Oh. Uh, I like Jerry Cinnamon. I like. Uh, That's Jerry Cinnamon. He's a, he's a new artist, but he's. He's near to a label or something, is he? He's kind of independent. He's keen, aye. Right, aye. Okay. Um, I just, if I like it, kind of, if it, if it 
rocks my boat when I hear it the first time and I tend to listen to the, some mere stuff yep. on, so. Now, I'll tell you why I'm happy you're on here. Why? Uh, because we had never met, right? Mm -hmm. But like I'm saying, let's, let's get back to the reason you're on. Mm -hmm. So every time I, I post my podcast on uh, Facebook, YouTube, I keep on saying Dorothy uh, uh, Doreen Mayer, sorry. Mm -hmm. Doreen Mayer, and you're always involved or some kind of comments going on. And I'm speaking about, you try your, you try to keep our thing happy happy. Uh -huh. It's very hard when you've people behind the keyboards or the phones and they're going, oh, why is this now? Why is she not doing this? But, so you've got a lot of keyboard warriors you're dealing with, for you didn't actually see that person face to face. Yes. Like like we are just now. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really, you've got a strong well to get and push forward and you're taking on us invisible people sometimes. Mm -hmm. And my, my problem with us people, some us people that's can be quite negative to you and it's not, it's not good for people's health and people's negative. But, I find hard for to understand from your side is to deal with us people that's hiding and they're they're not doing a lot. That's that's something it's it's not very constructive. While you're going out of your way, you're getting contact and for and but so how how hard is that for you when you're doing that by the way? Um, you can. I'm a counsellor. You yes, you are a counsellor. Uh, 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 but I should, well, I've, I've a counsellor pa page, but nobody contacts me on air. They just came as Doreen, so they but, don't But they're quite happy going in the groups. Yes. And then going, oh, why is this not happened? Why, why is the grass not cut? <laughs> um, I didn't mind, for, especially I know during this whole pandemic thing, social media has been really important. Mm -hmm. And it's been a good way of getting information across really quick. So if I started a DM was just sharing information that I'm access to, can about all sorts of things about health, can NHS grampy and we're sending my stuff now. <clears throat> and I thought it was quite a good way to get out of it. And then of course folks started commenting on things and I would leave it generally mm -hmm. but sometimes somebody would tag me in mm -hmm. so of course the Kent I had seen it and, and you, you've got to respond kind of thing is it or they'll complain they'll go oh, she's, that's too good she is she doesn't respond well, well the whole thing about being a counsellor to me is you've got I'm working for you Eans mm -hmm. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm part of the council but oh, I'm yep. working for you Eans and all so you've got to interface with folk or how are you going to care for yep. folk think? So how how hard is it to keep every person, because you can't keep everybody oh, happy, can't you? Keep There's always getting. going to be one Aye. and they're going to start their end group and they're going, Doreen, Mayor, that, so she didn't do that. Mm -hmm. But it's very hard, and I'll tell you right now, I think you're doing a great job. Thank and you. the main reason is, there's a lot of positive comments in that. It's sometimes some of the invisible keyboard warriors, as we're saying, or the phone warriors, I change it sitting back. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see him actually doing a lot. There's a lot of folk just like to moan about stuff. Now, without doing anything? Without doing anything. A council can't do nothing, and they put in this into a council thing. But I mean, I have volunteered for lots of stuff for my lifetime, mm -hmm. right? Um, and I got involved with the building of the pool, of doing the girls' brigade, just generally helping out the coffee moment. Right. And what I find is, it's basically the same here folk mm -hmm. that do an awful lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the extra, there's no newcomer, well there is sometimes. There is, and, and I think the mayor that you interact with folk and say, look, come and help the mayor that folk get involved. So I think it is out to um, I mean, I've been doing care parks, park and care parks for um, food parcels, yep, basically, okay. since I started. And got a few folk involved, just, oh, what can I do? Well, you could do it. Or can you could deliver them, you could park yeah. them. You could. And if you can and, and get out to folk and say, we do the hands, if folk in the brook are really community minded mm -hmm. most of the time. So if you go to them and say I need a hand to come, I have said Ken I was being well getting up for election my sister mm -hmm. uh, somebody said there's no hand in the broth for young ones. And I went, that's rubbish. There's mm -hmm. heaps in broth for young ones. Mm -hmm. A lot more than there is in money tunes. Mm -hmm. But if you can find something mm -hmm. that 
there isn't any tune. You go, you get yourself your PFG because you can't PVG. You can't just do yep. anything I, nowadays without being properly qualified and mm -hmm. certified and the rest of it. You start up a club. Mm -hmm. Never heard from him again. Uh, okay. But so for a while it was. Now, I want to also mention because. Oh, that's the uh, organisation you did. Mm -hmm. You know, the different folk at once things. And does your husband take a lot of the flack here? If you're, you complain, if you have a lot of complaining to him, he's going, oh, just, just leave it. Aye, right. but he's got selective hearing. You only hear certain uh, things. <laughs> like for time supper. Well, he just missed the cooking. No, he's <laughs> he's, a, he's right. a house husband. Because um, right, okay. I'm so busy that mostly. Most of the cleaning and the cooking is now his hmm. area because he's retired. He works on that stuff. So, but you, you, have you been leading a generally happy life this year? Apart from the lot doing obviously, but is life pretty good to you overall? Well, I, I think if you've got your health, there's not much coming over you. Um, and you have? And I have. Aye. There we go. Aye. Uh, and also, ho hobbies and interests. Fair about Put your getaway, Doreen, because sometimes you you need to get off that technology. You can't, mm -hmm. you can't be on it every day and some, some folks are going, she's not replied, but you are a human being. You've got uh, your own life and all. I keep fit. Like, if we speak and walk in? Or? Well, I walk. I, I get on my treadmill every morning. Okay. I um, I used to swim a lot. I, I'm a swimming, trained swimming instructor. And uh, I used to swim a lot. Unfortunately, being a counsellor doesn't lead to being able to swim very often because I like my exercise on the in the mornings and usually I have got the time in the morning to get the pool right. and then be at a meeting. So just before a lockdown, I bought myself a treadmill. So I'm on my treadmill probably for half past six of the morning. Well, so you're an early riser. Aye. Early bird. Aye. Um, for about, um, if you was getting a while, let's just say... You would, you could go anywhere in the world. Far would you have been a summer? Far would have been a summer. A well, I was going to right. Gdansk with the Queens. I went to school. Wait, so did you say that? Gdansk. Far as Gdansk. Poland. Poland. Okay. Have you got family members? No, no. We were just going over there for a few days. Um, quite like cruising. Cruising. Very. Uh, it's very relaxing mm -hmm. because you're on the ocean mm -hmm. and near the world. Right. Do you think you want that shot? Right. So I quite like cruising. Um, I like going to watch a hotel with a spa and a golf course. So he does a golf course and I do the spa. You do a spa. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe even a book, a bit of book reading. In Dire Straits. In Dire Straits. Aye. Right. Um, before we go, mm -hmm. now it's been, it's been awfully good to meet you because we'd never officially met before. No. And I'll, part of the reason I was some folk were saying to me, I can't find you should ask. You should ask Dory Mayer. Mm -hmm. And I finally buckled up a bit of courage because <laughs> I sometimes contact folk, and you can't feel like, uh, like yourself. You, you're near usually. I've never seen you in camera. No, so no, when I, a you'll understand path. why. Right. Uh, right, no, but it's really good you've came on and you've uh, spoke about a couple of things. But before we go, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about wearing the face masks or people? It's near wearing the face masks. I think it. If you have got an exception then it's fair enough you know wear a face mask but right now i think it until we get some sort of cure for us we need to keep as safe as possible mm -hmm. so i've been wearing them for months and i was getting some funny looks but again it was just i thought that was the way it was going and mm -hmm. um, i did find them a bit of a pest because i wear specs and my glasses steam up a steam bit steam up yep but Compared to the likes of the nurses or the carers, I can have a couple of carers I speak to if I have to wear face masks all day, every day. I think wearing them to get into shops is really a big an issue. So, aye. I think my, my only issue is, and I, I mentioned this just before we started filming, the social aspect for mm -hmm. you might see somebody you can and they, they'll ignore you, mm -hmm. just, not deliberately, mm -hmm. or people's, they're not, we're not interacting the same, we're losing that because we can't see any facial recognition, apart from the eyes, Aye. or like Bambi eyes staring at you, but I, apart from that. I mean, I'm quite happy, I hate half my face, so I'm quite happy about it. Um, you know, I, I think you can see anything behind a face mask and under your breath and nobody can see you. 
Right, I'll better watch out for you and Tesco's <laughs> Nina's comments and their face masks. So. Uh, right, on anyway, boy. Very good to meet you. Thank you for coming on. And keep doing what you're doing because it's you're, you're definitely making a difference to the community. Thank you. And uh, ignore some of the keyboard warriors that hide behind their phones and uh, mm -hmm. computers, whatever they do. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much, Doreen, being on. And no uh, we're here at Maitland's, by the way. If you've done again, but Mrs. Mrs. Maitland's Coffee Shop. Mrs. Maitland's Coffee Shop. And for a better place to be on the beach. So we were on the beach. Oh, um, beach clean. We're doing a beach clean. Aye, we're doing a beach, and we haven't even got our feet no, uh, wet yet. So no. there we go. So thank you very much, Doreen, for being on, and no all problem. the best for the future. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to stick in a sticky trifle podcast. podcast will return next week. Well, it's a tough job being a counsellor, obviously, and trying to deal with every single person that contacts you, that must take a lot of doing, you know. Eh? It's maybe a bit like going to Wimpy for a burger and you realise that it's not been cooked right and you want to complain. Eh? Then again, thinking about it, is only us really happy with 2020? Well, there is one thing for sure. It surely can't get any worse this year. Anyway, I think I've got a bus to catch. See you later. Stay positive until next week. Bye.